Yo, it's cool times. Gang, gang to my cats. Sup, Tom, my ducks. If you want to make consistent gains in the NFT space, all you really need is a cell phone, which you can do research on, and you need a YouTube account to subscribe to this channel because I've been making crazy, crazy calls on my channel for the past couple of weeks. Uh, cool Man's Universe is up at 0.249 right now. If you remember, if you're subscribed, you saw the video last week when I said to mint this. Um, so you're already up. A good amount, if you followed my advice from December 13th, it's a week later now, you're up. You're doing well. You got the Bezos bucks and you got the Musk money. And now I'm giving away whitelist spots for another great project. It's called Yeti Town. So comment below. Do we think pixel projects are still the move? Comment below if you think pixel projects are still the move or, and have value the wolf game type projects. Let me know what you think about the pixel projects because I'm giving out whitelist spots, five of them below to people who comment. I'm giving out the Yeti Town whitelist spots for people who do that. But let's let's talk about the big gains today. Let's talk about these NFTs that are affordable that can potentially moon this week. Let's just get right into it. So the first one I want to talk about is Animo. And there's no roadmap at all for this project, but it's supported by some great people in this space. And the artwork is incredible. There's very few projects today that can get away with no roadmap, but just great artwork. One of them is Invisible Friends, which is coming out in January. This comes out on Sunday. So this is a, a, a mint. We definitely need to circle on our calendar because if you can look here, I actually brought us to the bottom of the website here just so you can see the full length NFTs and see what we're going to be minting here on Sunday. They're robot pets, basically. So it kind of reminds me of like Toy Story when like, remember, not Andy's house, but like uh, the bad kid's house. He had like the crazy little concoctions, toys. That's kind of what animos look like. They're like these little pets on these robotic, like look at this one right here. Because it has that cute, but it's like futuristic Ready Player One type flow to it. Um, they're, they're, they're talking about potentially doing a video game in the future or doing toys. I don't think those are mutually exclusive. So we don't have a roadmap, but what I've heard on the streets and what I've heard in spaces on Twitter is that they could be doing toys or they could be doing video games. No roadmap, like I said, but I think this is a team that's going to build. Um, and I, I don't think they're going to be a rug pull just because the art is so detailed. I've heard them on spaces. Now the white list is completely full for Animo. So sorry for not getting this to you guys sooner. I honestly haven't seen anyone else talking about this project on YouTube. So I wanted you guys to know first, there is going to be a public mint on Sunday. So you're going to want to get some gas fees set aside for that. But big people are supporting this project. Uh, Klon, Kloncast, the artist of Cool Cats has done a collaboration with Animo. They're doing one of one collaborations with a lot of big artists that they'll be selling on OpenSea. So this is a project that has support from real artists. So I'm looking at here, there's gonna be 10,000 units. The supply is, is quite high um, and the minting cost is not cheap, but this is basically what Cool Man's universe was. And I'd argue that Anima, once you look at these little robot pets, uh, they're much cuter, much more intricate than Cool Man's universe. So I actually like these NFTs at this price. This is a cool little graphic kind of showing you the traits here. So you got the pilot, you got like, like the guy on top. He's got like bazookas as arms. Like, do you guys see Small Soldiers? Did you guys ever see that, that movie, Small Soldiers? Where do I... I got a Small Soldiers Burger King toy. This is exactly what that was. It's like these little toy figurines you just blow things up with. So I don't know if this is a video game or if a toy coming in the future, but it's really, really cool and a project I'm probably going to miss. I just want to use this time to kind of flex the animos because I think they're so cool looking. So I'm assuming this is like your Christmas present. This is what you're going to be getting like pre-reveal. So it's a really cool little box there. But look at this 3D rendering here. This is like, you know, uh, what was the, the Reptar from Rugrats? This is like Reptar in web three i mean look at the insane detail this actually has like four or five little cute guys on top it looks like he has some sort of flying companion with him i mean guys like i said whitelist is full we're gonna have a reveal it's gonna be minting this sunday God, this one looks absolutely insane and the fact that a lot of people aren't talking about this project shows that there's not incentive for them to because this is a real real team that's building they're not just paid shills they're not trying to get everyone to talk about it they don't need everyone to talk about it because it's Essentially, this art is going to speak for itself. Look at this. You know, Cool Times, this channel, we love great art. So this next project is one we actually talked about in my Art Basel Day 2 vlog. So guys, if you haven't checked out my Art Basel vlogs, sneakily, there's a bunch of alpha in there. And I actually talked to two project creators I met at a Cool Cats party, and they're great friends with Elu and Klon. And I'm leaning heavily on, like, 
those type of friendships because um, Little Lemon Friends was another project that blew up this week. And I kind of got put on to them through the Cool Cats team. So the Cool Cats team also put me on to Lucky Ducky. And I'm really in love with the artwork here. It kind of reminds me of like Wallace and Gromit style art. Here's the website. You guys do know I'm a little biased. I love ducks. But this is all handmade art here. This is Jeremy Fisher, the artist literally taking balls of clay and handcrafting these little duckies. They're made out of love. And there's a great opportunity right now to get into the Discord and get whitelist spots. They're calling them priority passes. But basically, between December 26th and December 27th, they're going to be having something called the First Ducky Discord Treasure Hunt. Really cool kind of idea here. But the idea is that um, they'll be giving out, like, you know, if they get 3,000 Discord members uh, by, you know, December 26th, which is in like a week, we'll give out 50 passes, 100 passes. So let's let's say we flood this Discord, guys. Sniper gang, cool times gang jumps in this Discord. Let's say we get 7,000 Discord members. That's 200 whitelist spots. That'll be, you know, uh, a, a private mint you guys will be able to use. Here's more of the concept art here for Lucky Duckies. Again, I talked to this team. They're fully doxxed. They have a lot of experience creating this type of art. Uh, Shrimpy UK, who's a part of the dev team, has experienced shipping projects out. So again, these are all handmade. I think they have a lot of potential to be like little lemon friends. Projects that have a real community that's not getting overly shilled. So watch out for this. Again, if we get in the Discord, you'll have more of a chance of getting priority passes to mint these next week. Okay, the next project I want to talk to you guys today about is Lan Dow. Usually I'm not a huge fan of DAOs, but basically what this project's trying to do is acquire as much metaverse land as possible and then fractionalize it into a rent token that you can you know stake and earn tokens for. Um, again, I'm not a huge fan of DAOs, but they're the first of its kind doing this with the metaverse. And I think metaverse projects are as hot as it gets right now. When you think of Metroverse, when you think of Wilderland, when you think of Matrix World, Sandbox, Decentraland, these are the hottest projects right now. And this is why I think this could be a worthy investment. Looking at the white paper here. So we're looking at a 0 0.088 ETH mint price, which seems to be super popular with a lot of projects these days. But um, it's a little high, but I think that this might be able to 2x just because of that metaverse play to it. Tons of whitelist giveaways on Twitter about this. A lot of people are talking about this project, but I just think it has some upside because of the metaverse aspect of it. The next project is Hunger Brains. Yeah, I'm a guy in his 20s and I'm talking about something called Hunger Brains here. But hey, let's get right into it because it's a fully on-chain, massively multiplayer war game drama soon, whatever, whatever. I just liked one element of this white paper. Basically, this is your wolf game type clone, but it's shooting and it's zombies and your war game and multiplayer and all that stuff, which makes it really cool. But I just love this white paper here, actually, because they, they say some interesting stuff. It reminds me when I first read the wolf game white paper when it was at like 0.3 still. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to pull it up here exactly. Let's yeah, I love that what there's so much talk about burning in this white paper, which is so important because sometimes you just mint, 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 mint using these tokens and the tokens become so valueless. This is a project that has really taken its time and considered the burning mechanisms um, that go along with the minting processes. So once you're burning, you're also, you know, once you're minting, you're also burning. So um, I think that this is going to create a really nice dynamic. So it's a project I'm looking out for. All right, now I'm going to hit you guys with a couple left field options. If you're someone who missed the Adidas drop and you want like the super hype beast uh, NFTs to mint, I got you right now. It's a Steph Curry NFT minting only on FTX. So you're going to have to capitulate and download FTX to get this one. But I kind of don't mind this one because it's less than 3,000 of these in collection. And I think they're actually going to sell out because they're like, 2,900 moments from Steph Curry's career. So I'm going to go over here to the website. It says Mint goes live. It's 8 p.m. EST tonight. We are 10 hours away. You got to download FTX, like I said. But Steph Curry, I don't know, maybe have some collectible value in a couple of years. And again, I'm not someone who's just constantly shilling 10,000, you know, PFP profile pictures that I'm just dumping on to people who watch my channel. I actually want to put you guys onto some cool art. Just something I found was Blue the Great. Somebody had put me on to him. Um, he's somebody who's been doing super well on Super Rare and, you know, Nifty Gateway and doing a lot of one-of-ones. But I was just following his page. And my guy, Kevin F., who's actually the events planner at Cool Cats, this is the importance of 
of, of actually meeting people and talking to people in the space. So like Kevin F is the Cool Cats LA community manager. So I was talking to him or I was following him and I just saw him bring up this guy, uh, Blue the Great, and he said he's gearing up for his first NFT drop this week, uh, new piece. I, I've heard some rumors that it's, it's going to be a collection. So I wanna show you guys Blue the Great's uh, art here. He's a fantastic uh, African-American artist. Super cool and detailed, the type of art you wish was an NFT but wasn't. I love this right here. Um, so just watch out for his page. I think he could be dropping something kind of stealth. It might be only 1,000, might be only you know 500, but it, it's kind of like a Vinny Hager type thing. You're just buying into an artist, and even though the collection is small and the world, uh, the word might not travel as far as some of these other projects, it still could be worth it. Okay, so we're giving away whitelist spots on this video. So comment below what you think of the, like the pixelated wolf game style projects. Let me know if you think those still have a future, if you think it's kind of over with. This is a project I like, it's called Yeti Town. It's one of those play to earn games where you earn a token. So we'll see if it does well or not. Uh, 5,000 in the collection, 0 0.077 ETH, not 0 0.088 ETH, 0 0.077 ETH. They had to mix that up a little bit. But um, you can yield which everyone loves, which means you'll be able to passively earn tokens, but also play the play to earn game. And then you're going to be able to burn your tokens. And you know me, I love to burn it down, burn that supply the fuck down because it's sniper gang. Pew, pew. Guys, I think some of these projects we mentioned today might go to the moon. Some of them might not. This isn't financial advice, but make sure to like this video and comment below if you want a whitelist spot for Yeti Town. I'll send those out soon. And uh, just remember one thing, guys. Gang, gang.